What is it with these quarterbacks, these college quarterbacks, not showcasing their abilities in the NFL Combine? Let's talk about that. Welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs podcast. My name is Greg, and this channel is dedicated to news and commentary uh, for the Washington Commanders. If you're down with that, make sure you have subscribed, and definitely make sure that you have hit that notification bell so you won't miss any video releases on YouTube. Uh, we also try to branch this out into audio podcasts as well, so take a look at that. Also, you want to support our partners here, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is um, a very new partner with the Washington Football Maniacs. And um, why are they so important? Well, have you ever thought, why is my wireless bill so expensive? What are you paying all of that money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text. What about mobile hotspots? Well, with my partners at Mint Mobile, they offer all of those features for as low as $15 a month. And it is very easy to get started with Mint Mobile. How does it work? Well, Mint Mobile works with your digital eSIMS card that most phones nowadays come with. You can be up and running in less than 15 minutes. And if you don't have a digital eSIMS card in your phone, my partners at Mint Mobile will send you a physical SIM for free. That's right, for free. Big Wireless wants you to think that it's too difficult to switch, but Mint Mobile makes it super easy. And their service is outstanding. I have been testing Mint Mobile for the last couple of months, and I have not seen any drops in calls, and performance and speed has been outstanding. I can watch YouTube in 4K, movies in 4K. I can even play online video games without any buffering whatsoever. Why pay all of that money for access to premium services when you can get all of those services with Mint Mobile for a fraction of the cost? Switch to Mint Mobile today. Go to trymintmobile.com slash maniacs and get started on your savings. The link will be in the description of this video. Let's get to it. Speaking of getting to it, what was that? What was I saying? Oh, that's right. So what I was saying is I don't understand why that these quarterbacks who are likely to be drafted one and two, one and three, they're deciding not to throw in the combine. I think it's very important that these quarterbacks showcase their abilities. Now, they still will because they're going to have uh, NFL Pro Days. Now, I'm talking about Caleb Williams. I'm talking about uh, Jaden Daniels. Now, I haven't heard at the time of the recording of this video if Drake May is going to follow suit. Uh, but it seems like it's starting to become customary for a lot of these top-round quarterbacks to forego any workouts during the combine and then just stick to their Pro Days. Now, I do understand the, the reasoning behind it. The reasoning basically is that they want to be able to showcase their abilities um, in a place where their environment, where they're comfortable with, with receivers that they're used to throwing, with predetermined routes and things like that. They want to be able to put their best foot forward. I, I get that. I feel like, though, that that can be kind of an artificial creation of, hey, look at what all I can do, when honestly they're going to be in situations during the season in the NFL <clears throat> where they're not comfortable, where they're in situations where it's like, what do I need to do to be successful in this play? And I feel like that's part of the reasoning for the Combine is to showcase their abilities in maybe situations they're not used to. Uh, being able to, 
say you're going to throw this route, maybe you're not used to throwing those routes. Maybe that route is not your strength. But it really, I think, shows a better uh, realistic and, um, yeah, I think it's just more of a, a true test, a measure of what can these quarterbacks truly do when you throw anything at them. And I, I just, um, to me, I think that, in my opinion, that's the whole reasoning for the combine. And, uh, you know, if they're just going just to answer questions and things like that, um, how much how much more will you see this out of potential high-round draft picks? Not just quarterbacks, but then, you know, maybe, maybe it branches off into wide receivers and tight ends and things like that. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, I, I think, um, I think that eventually you'll get to where the combine won't be won't be like it was meant to be. Now, of course, back when I was growing up, I didn't know. If, I don't even know if they had a an, an NFL combine for these potential college players coming out of college into the NFL. Maybe they did. I don't know when it began. It probably didn't begin until I was much more into my adulthood um, because, honestly, it wasn't until maybe like 10 years or so that I really started pay, paying more attention to the combine. And, uh, well, maybe about 15 years ago or so. But, um, honestly, I, I, I just... I think it's a I think it's a good thing because you know obviously you want to be able to to interview these guys see what their mental fortitude is uh, you want to be able to see their physical abilities as well are they workout kings you know uh, things like that how how much how far they can jump and I mean I think it's a good thing I think it's a very good thing for all of the players. And when you start to have players who are going to start skipping uh, the combine in favor of doing their own thing, I think it lessens the importance of the combine. And I think eventually it starts to give you artificial hope um, of what that quarterback can do. Obviously, if you only give him plays that he's comfortable with uh, from college, yeah, he's probably going to do pretty good, but eventually when NFL defenses figure all that stuff out and you've got to be able to coach that quarterback up into being able to branch out with his knowledge with offenses and reading defenses, then I just feel like that, I don't know, it makes you wonder what are they protecting? What is What are their agents protecting them? From I know Caleb Williams is going to go agent free, but still, I just feel like it's it's an artificial way of showing talent, and I think sometimes you just need to have these guys go out to the combine and prove what they can do. That's my opinion. I don't know. I, I'm not an NFL exec. Um, haven't played in the NFL, but. Um, I just feel like that you open up very a lot of many ways of being able to cover up weaknesses. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a share, let me know your thoughts on the NFL Combine. Is it truly a good measure of these quarterbacks coming out of the uh, college ranks into the NFL? Or, honestly, is the pro day worth it more? Let me know. I will see you in the next one. Take care.